Death has experienced explosive growth since first launching in 2019, defying all expectations for a canned water brand with such an unusual identity. The company expanded from a simple website to over 60,000 brick-and-mortar retail locations across America and an e-commerce powerhouse. After its founding in early 2019, Liquid Death saw steady sales from its online site, where packs of canned water could be purchased directly. But major growth began in 2020, when the company landed its first national retail partner, Whole Foods. Suddenly, Liquid Death had distribution in 500 stores, tapping into mainstream consumers curious about the edgy brand. More major retailers came knocking in 2021, and Liquid Death exploded into prominent chains like 7-Eleven, Kroger, Publix, and Target. By the end of 2021, it had amassed a retail footprint of over 20,000 stores. The availability in major national chains fueled a year-over-year -year increase in revenue from 2.8 million in 2019 to 10 million in 2020, to 45 million in 2021, and 130 million in 2022. Liquid Death also excelled in the e-commerce space, becoming Amazon's highest selling can of water. From its scrappy origins selling cans direct to consumers online, Liquid Death has cemented itself as a prominent national beverage brand in an incredibly short time frame. This hockey stick growth trajectory, however, shows no signs of slowing down as Liquid Death is already plotting international expansion and has its sights set on becoming a $1 billion brand. While the edgy identity seemed niche to a heavy metal fan base at first, the company's widespread growth shows that canned water with irreverent branding has an incredibly mass appeal. Liquid Death's growth has been fueled by continued social media buzz, dark humor marketing tactics, and key partnerships with major festivals and celebrities, like Tony Hawk and Martha Stewart. These brand-building efforts create organic brand impressions worth far more than traditional advertising. 